Things you don't know about Disneyland Part 4. Hello viewers, how are you? Welcome to the fourth part of the video, Interesting Facts About Disneyland. Make sure to check the first, second and third part of my video. With that said, let's get back to our discussion topic. Number 31. The voice of the host host. The voice of the host host was Paul Fries from 1920 to 1986. Fries was also the narrator for Adventure Through Inner Space and the voice of the auctioneer in the Pirates of Caribbean. His List of credits as a Disney narrator and voice actor includes many Disney movies and Professor Ludwig von Drake. His work for other studios is equally impressive. Perhaps his most famous role was Boris Badenov in The Rocky and Bull Winkle Show. However, Thor Ravenscroft, 1914-2005, best known as the longtime voice of Tony the Tiger, sang the song about Mr. Grinch in the 1966 television special How the Grinch stole Christmas. Ravenscroft is also the voice and face of one of the singing busts in the Haunted Mansion. Number 32. There was a time capsule buried in Sleeping Beauty's Castle. In 1955, there was a time capsule buried in Sleeping Beauty's Castle. It will be opened on Disneyland's 80th anniversary July 17, 2035. Shortly after Mickey Mouse buried in a time capsule in front of Sleeping Beauty's Castle during Disneyland's 40th anniversary celebration, Monday, a small figure with a familiar voice appeared atop the Matterhorn to lead the crowd in a rendition of Happy Birthday. Was that Randy Travis? 43-year-old Bill Magazine asked some friends in the crowd. It could have been Regis Philbin up there for all I could say. It was indeed Travis, the Grammy award-winning country western singer who joined Walt Disney's 65-year-old nephew Roy Disney. Walt Disney co-chairman Michael Eisner and other celebrities and dignitaries who placed 1995 memorabilia inside the capsule to commemorate the park's 40th birthday. The Time Castle will be opened in 2035. Number 33. There was a tobacco shop on Main Street until 1991. The tobacco shop was located between the Magic Shop and the Main Street Cinema on the east side of Main Street from 1955 to 1991. Number 34. There was a corset and bra shop which closed in 1956. There was a corset and bra shop as well. It only lasted 6 months and closed in 1956. The intimate apparel shop operated by Hollywood Magic Maxwell Brasserie Co. of Los Angeles was a corset and bra shop on Main Street, USA. Exhibits included old Silka 1900 and new 1955 corsets, brass and petticoats and the wonderful wizard of brass. Number 35. The Drawbridge on Sleeping Beauty's Castle There is a wrong conception about the Sleeping Beauty Castle is that the drawbridge on Sleeping Beauty's Castle is real and can be raised or lowered. Sleeping Beauty Castle was built with a real drawbridge mechanism, although it was hardly ever used. The drawbridge looked authentic because it was authentic. In 2014, the simple rows of chains that separated guests on the drawbridge from the moat were replaced by permanent railings made of wood and wrought iron, firmly attached and not designed to fold up or away. The drawbridge is no longer truly a drawbridge. Guest safety is a higher priority. Presumably, it would be possible to restore it to its original design, but that will probably never happen. Number 36. 11-year-old George Lucas was at the park on opening day. In 1995, article in Entertainment Weekly, Indiana Jones Goes to Disneyland by Steve Daly, February 3, 1995, confirms that Lucas was one of the Disneyland's earliest guests. If you ask George Lucas, executive producer of the indie movies and controller of all rights to the character, the Disney Indie Alliance is a natural. I was at Disneyland the second day it opened, in 1955. He says, recalling that the mini freeway Autopia ride was his favorite until I could drive. The date was apparently either July 18 or July 19, depending on whether second day means the day after the televised opening or the second public day. It would be his first of many visits. Other accounts tell how 11-year-old George Lucas took a plane ride from Modesto Airport to Southern California, where his best friend had recently moved. Together, they enjoyed the brand new Disneyland Park. Number 37. The props in Indiana Jones office when you were waiting in line for the ride are real props from the movie franchise. When Disneyland's Indiana Jones Adventure
Culture opened in 1995, newspapers mentioned that the track near the entrance had appeared in Riders of the Lost Ark. Beyond that, there was no reference to actual props of the movies. Disneyland PR has never claimed that Professor Jones' base camp office is filled with actual props from the movies. However, that does not mean it's impossible. If some of the production props were available to Disney, it may even have been easier or cheaper to acquire them than to recreate everything. The source of MSN claim may have been an unverified item at Hidden Mickey's. Many of the props in Indy Jones' office were used in the films as well. The cooling fan, the hand pump, the calendar, the maps with Mickey pools at the bottom leveled India, Europe, America, etc. But not the notes and letters or the scroll. Three babies have been born on Disneyland. The babies were born on a bench on Main Street, USA, 1978, Disneyland First Aid, 1984, and a Disneyland Main Entrance Lead Office, 2002. All were girls. Another a baby girl was born on the Toy Story parking lot bus stop in 2012. You can count her as a baby number four if you want to include the entire Disneyland resort with millions of guests, some of whom are pregnant, visiting Disneyland every year for almost 60 years. And with babies sometimes making their entrance into the world sooner and more quicker than expected. It's surprising that the number isn't much higher. Perhaps there were other but that never made it into new Pepper, but those can't be counted. There's a myth that Disneyland gives a lifetime first to any baby born in the park. That's not the case. Disneyland does not want to encourage expectant mother to show up when they are about to give birth. Head over to first aid and collect any an incredibly valuable lifetime first that obligates Disneyland to provide free admission for the next 90 or so years. On Disneyland's opening day, the cement did not say in time. Omen's heels keep sinking into the ground. Guests are not made to walk though unsafe cement. So the cement part of the climb is wrong. But account of why Disneyland opening and the nickname Black Sunday include high heels sinking into new laid asphalt in the summer heat. This history has taken on a life of its own. The actual extent of the problem might never be known. Money restrains food Disney to choose between bathroom and drinking fountains. He went with restrooms and after critics accused him to forcing guests to purchase soft drinks. He responded in boss fashion. People can buy Pepsi Coca-Cola but they can't fee in the street. The Indiana Jones ride was originally conceived as two-part experience. The creators had planned to develop a mini land double Indiana Jones and lost a edition, a giant complex that featured the adventure ride and a minecart roller coaster. A flight restriction has been placed over the far. No way are copper alloyed to fly within a three mile radius of Disneyland. Anyone can ride willows on the Mark Tawain River Road. Just ask one of the cast members working on the attraction to ride it. They will lead you to a door marked private on the second floor which you will enter and the climb the leader to the wheel house where you can steer the boat and ring mark the van bell. Afterwards, sign the guest book where the name of all the previous captain are locked. Cast members can't use one finger guest sir. To avoid offending certain culture, everyone in suite is required to communicate with an often flam or two fingers to point. In the Middle East, pointing with an an index finger means signaling someone out or making fun of them. They call this gesture Disney point. Cast members, as park employees, are called are taught in their training to always point with two fingers instead of one. The first reason for this is that pointing with just the one index finger, as most Americans do, it considered impolite in some cultures and countries. The Disney parks have always attracted a good deal of international visitors so the more begin to fingers get set became the norm among employees if an effort 
improve is sensitive and welcoming to every person. Employees have even affectionately dubbed it the Disney Point. Michaela Paris, a former Disney employee, said the Disney Point is a sign of respect. Disney received plenty of foreign travelers to their park. The typical signal fingers point is a symbol of disrespect and has a negative connotation in many cultures. Therefore, Disney created the Disney point to, to accommodate all of their guests. The main street of a house is the oldest building on Disneyland property. Originally, it served as a park's lumber mill and was converted into an opera house after 1961. Main Street USA is the first themed land inside the main entrance of the many Disneyland style park operated or licensed by the Walt Disney Company around the world. The garbage cans. Walt Disney created Disneyland with the idea that the park should always be kept clean, unlike the car Carnivals and midway of the day. One of our favorite on the list of things you don't know about Disneyland are the themed garbage cans. One of the ways that the park is gift lit is the location of the garbage can. When Walt Disney opened Disneyland in 1955, he said the rule that a garbage can should be set no more than 12 steps apart. That distance seemed just right when you consider the park sell over 3 million carols each year, not to mention all the other delicious food. On top of being set 12 steps apart, it is decorated to respect the land it is held in. The theme can are becoming so popular that salt and pepper shakers, Christmas ornaments and other souvenirs have become top seller in Disney stores. Fans of the garbage cans are already starting to wonder how they will be designed for Star Wars land. Galaxies is. If you have not heard about the Galactic Extension, you can't find out everything you need to know about Star Wars land in Disneyland here. The Ultimate Disneyland Souvenir near museum. The Disneyland Hotel has been part of the Disneyland experience since October of 1955. Originally owned the operate by Zack and Bontier rather, the hotel ran under the rather company until the Disney Corporation purchased the property in 1988. Guests of the Disneyland Resort can enjoy a delicious meal at either Goffy's Kitchen or Stick House 55 before exploring the Imagine Lobby. Be on the lookout for an entire wall dedicated to Disneyland souvenirs from 1955 to the present or check out an original Autophia attraction car and an entire wall of photos memorializing celebrity visits to the happiest place on earth. The old French street sign in New Orleans Square. In the early days of New Orleans, horse-drawn carriages were often found rolling through the city. As the city grew and streets were added carriage drivers needed to anticipate the next turn or a stop that needed to be made. A street sign were added to building to indicate what the next intersection would be. As part of the detailed New Orleans Square in Disneyland, this sign can be found on the buildings throughout. Once you have found them, put the sign to the test. Would you be able to get around New Orleans Square without looking at the debate? Route. There is a sun and moon in every room in it's a small world. This may be sweetest thing on our list of things you don't know about Disneyland. Richard and Robert Sherman, known as the Sherman Brothers, wrote the theme song for the venerable attraction that premiered in the 1964 World's Fair. The song was created in order to be easily translated in many languages. The like Chris include. There is just one moon and one golden sun and a smile melts 
friendship to everyone though the mountains divide and the oceans are white it's a small world after all the attraction is a simple reminder that we all share planet and earth and that children are a great example to love one another despite our circumstances to further cement those beliefs you will find one moon and one sun in each room of its small world this is to signify how peace and joy should bring us together under just one moon and one golden sun the main street orchestration machine located in the main street penny arcade a turn of the century orchestration machine plays classical american and disney songs in this world of digital technology the idea of horns drums wood winds and other instruments playing themselves is magical don't miss it it's a bit full reminder of history old world engineering and musical excitement the teacup and teapot disney is known for hiding disney characters in other disney films and throughout their theme parks when guests visit tarzan's tree house at disneyland they can catch a glimpse of mrs potts and chief from beauty and the beast you will find this item from our things you don't know about disneyland list near the exit of the tree house the walkman from guardians of the galaxy in the guardians of galaxy mission breakout attraction in disney's california adventure park rocket raccoon is working to save his friends from the collector upon entering collector's library look closely in the bookcases for star lord's walkman watch it close because near the end of the introduction to the attraction rocket reaches down and snags the walkman he uses it uses it to provide the amazing soundtrack you will experience on the ride you might notice a few familiar artifacts from other marvel movies like cosmo the space dog once you are on the right vehicle you will be dropped into one of six different scenarios featuring star lord groot gamora rocket and drax each of the scenarios features a different songs from the 70s or 80s as you speed to the top of the tower and drop to the bottom thanks for watching be sure to check the other three parts and upcoming parts of the disneyland video if you like the video please subscribe to my channel hit the like button below and please don't forget to share this video with your friends